Okay, so yeah, good morning again. It's yeah, it's week zero, day two. We're happy to have you here. Uh, we will be having these um, stand ups on a daily basis, and we encourage you to speak up um, to tell us how you're feeling, um, if you have any blockers, um, if you have just any questions in general. So, um, yeah, so the questions we have for today was uh, is how was day one? Um, did you get to submit your uh, tasks? And also, are you having any blockers? And you can also ask us any other questions if you're missing uh, if you're missing any informations. Um, if maybe the um, onboarding documents might not be um, enough. So yeah, we're here to help you. So any volunteers? We need volunteers to speak up. Or, or maybe show me a reaction if you would like to speak up. Okay, then. Um, maybe I can call names. So maybe we can have um first. Okay, okay, great. Macbib, Macbib, you can speak up. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my day was good. I got to submit a ZGitHub repo. I didn't do much work on it before I submitted, but uh, today I'm doing more work on it. Okay, so how was day one? Was it, um, was it hard, easy? Um, what was your expectation? And yeah, what do you think? Uh, so far, day one was uh, pretty easy. Uh, it was, uh, I already knew how to set up environments and uh, uh, how to use Git, so it wasn't very difficult. Uh, I think the continu continuous delivery stuff, that, that stuff is still new to me, so if that was a little overwhelming. Oh, okay. Which part is overwhelming? I didn't hear you the last part. Uh, the continuous uh, deliver delivery oh, and yeah. integration. Yes, yes. So I think you've probably um, uh, read it on the onboarding manual as well. Uh, we want to have like daily submissions and kind of want to make the week zero slightly harder than the actual training because we want to push you and um, see your commitment and uh, we just want you to push you to your limits and see if you can survive, I would say. So, yeah, so it's just six days of um, week zero. Actually, it's just five since day one has already passed. So yeah, uh, you only have five days left. So yes, uh, just put in the work and I'm sure you'll get there. So yeah, and so you don't have any blockers, any technical blockers, since we have our um, technical tutors on the call as well. <clears throat> you can address any uh, There is one. Okay, okay. Yeah. So on task one, uh, we're asked to perform ED analysis to answer the following questions like who are the top ten, uh, top, what are the who are the top and bottom ten like websites that have the largest count of news articles. I'm not sure where we're supposed to show this. Like I can answer, I've uh, written code to at least uh, to answer, for example, the first question, but I don't see how we're supposed to show it. Like, do we comment then? Oh, this is the answer or whatever on our code. I don't know how we're supposed to show it. So we have um, MTNON and also Ramet Aldoko, so uh, who'd like to take on this question? MTNON, Ramet, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yep, yeah, please. I can hear you. Yes, so, uh, yeah, so basically, if you are working with, uh, on in a net, or notebook, uh, you can just like write there that uh, like this is the, the you can comment or like uh, in a markup uh, cell you can write yeah this is an, um, uh, the top uh, websites for like and then like write the code so in, in, if you are using a notebook you can you are able to basically have a, a mix of code and and 
markup language so you can write and explain what you are doing basically uh there okay. so so that's one way to do it okay yeah understood Yeah, uh, Mahalit, you can speak up. Uh, Mahalit, if you haven't met her already, uh, I've also introduced her on our onboarding document. She's our lead tutor, so maybe maybe I think she has uh, something else to add. Uh, I want to add two points. Like Amit Nan said, you can add them on your um, notebook, but rather than that, you will also include these findings as your finding on your report. Even if we ask report for daily, so you can start compiling your reports based on what you find on, from the data set. So that will help you to compile your reporting uh, overall, I would say like that. But in addition, in order to make your notebook um, somehow informative and uh, by itself uh, as a report, but you can add um, more explanations using the markdown as well. Okay, uh, I'll do both. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay, great. So if we don't have any volunteers, we can move on to Sikota and then Elizabeth. So um, Sikota, can you speak up? Can you put up your mic? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Uh, so far, uh... Uh, to be honest, like I found it a little bit overwhelming uh, regarding because uh, everything around here is a little bit new environment. Uh, so it's just a little bit complicated, but I'm trying to like figure out and I'm trying to follow the the guideline as much as I could. And hopefully I will I will get in touch with the with the what is that with the with the thing. So th that will be fine. Thanks for asking me. So far, so good, yeah. Okay, okay. So did you get to submit your tasks? And also, are you having any progress? And also, yes, I mean, it's definitely expected uh, for day one to be, you know, overwhelming. It's a new environment, um, new community, and yeah, new routine uh, in general. So I mean, it's definitely expected for you to feel like that. Uh, just make sure to ask questions, um, don't back up, and just put in the work and then um i mean you you'll be uh used to the routine uh before you even know it so yeah and also yeah can you answer the uh questions the other questions yeah i think i did the the right thing hopefully but um so i like here is the thing as a just as a suggestion uh i i do have one idea that that could benefit all of us uh since we all here in the same boat, so which is like we need uh, actually things like um, as I told you, for me it's just a little bit complicated because I'm just trying to organize things from here and there. Uh, so I found it a little bit tough to manage things uh, accordingly. So if it is possible, would you guys please provide us like some bullet pointers of what we should do, like you know the the brief detailed uh, what is that like the guideline thing if it is possible, because that would actually um, guide us to move, you know, like flawlessly. So like uh, that that's my suggestion. So yeah, I did. I, I did submit it already. The, my assignment one. Yeah, I did that. No, uh, OK, OK. So um, maybe have you gone through the onboarding document? If you haven't. The onboarding document is like uh, I think it is it's, it's a guideline, right? Like the ten academy intensive training week zero challenging document. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. The onboarding document. Um, wait, I will be sharing it now. Um, it's uh, basically um a document that will help you catch up if you're if you're feeling behind so i'm also sharing it here i've also shared it on email and and also on the um all resources channel so i think i think this is useful um if not maybe um 
yeah, maybe we can add anything you you guys think we should add. So, yeah, uh, have you gone through this document? Uh, yeah, I, I think I saw this uh, the, this thing like so. Um, it just shows me here like uh, how to navigate things uh, through uh, like uh, on the on the web. Sorry, what was uh, it? Is yeah. just showing me actually. It is just showing me uh, that the things that I should like you know use utilize whenever i need them but like when we, when we come to the tasks like the actual tasks the duties that we need to do needs to be you know like yeah first you need to manage this and second that you know those kind of things that's what i'm talking about ah okay okay so okay maybe um is um Anyone else feeling the same way? Maybe you can show us a thumbs up or a thumbs down reaction. Maybe if I can add some things here. Uh, because we are preparing you for global level jobs, so in job there is only a problem. We give you that problem and the tasks needed to be done in order to make it easy for you. Rather than that, what type of information can we give you to simulate the job environment? because we know that the job needs your solution rather than uh, do this, do that, do this thing. So we are not running a training because you are doing yourself and you need to learn. Uh, you need to contribute more. We expect you more from your side, not from our side. That's not, uh, because that's not the job demand. The job demands who is self-capable in solving problems and whatever they yes yeah yeah i mean in terms of the challenge yes definitely um let's say it all um in terms of navigating the training uh, i mean if the onboarding document is not enough you can still contact me um pascaline or yeah the various team you can also contact me so yeah we can figure it out and also you can please make sure to ask questions on the all week zero channel if you're um, having any issues uh, we will make sure to provide you with an answer right away because if you're if you're feeling like you're behind and if you're still not asking questions then um, i mean how how would we know so yeah that's one thing i would suggest and yeah it's good that you've submitted your tasks also which is great um yeah so that's great you're on track so next we have elizabeth um okay i think she has already typed Day one was a little hard for me, not necessarily because of the challenge of the day, but because of the routine switch. Yeah, I was able to submit to my link on time. Yeah, which is great. This is good. Um, yeah, uh, one one thing I would tell you is you will definitely get into uh, get used to the routine. So it's expected to feel overwhelmed on day one. So next we have um, Sumaya and then Carmel. Uh, Sumaya, can you speak up? Can you open up your mic? Um, yes, your, your voice is a bit far, but yeah, maybe you get closer to the mic. Okay, now I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, the first day was uh, pretty much, as I said, it's, it was overwhelming. And um, it was, I think it was because of I was running here and there, and I, I didn't know like what to start or, or where to start. But after figuring out now, I think it's, as something cleaner than the first day. And yeah, I submitted the assignments on the time. Okay, okay, that's great. That's really good. That's good that you've submitted your tasks. So any blockers, any technical blockers you'd like to address? Uh, not that much technical, but I think the uh, answering time link it takes to the uh, the coordinator is a little bit long. I mean, I asked some questions and it took some time to answer.
Okay, do you have any comments when attempting on Malik? Maybe I think that was a technical question, right? Okay, so was that the question you asked me on the Slack, Sumaya? Yeah. I think I received it at night, right? Your first question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I didn't see it. I think you, so I don't know what to say. I mean, I used to send it uh, too late that night, so I wasn't available at that time. That was the only reason. But we'll try to address your question as fast as we can. Okay. Okay, thank you. Ah, okay, okay. I thought she said the system was slow or something. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, yes, uh, Sumaya, we will make sure to answer your questions, especially during daytime. Maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, we will try our best. If not, uh, instead of reaching out to like specific people when you're not, uh, when we, if, in case we don't get back to you, we can also um, ask questions on the channel so that um, all other, all, all your peers are probably working on the tasks as well. So they will make sure to answer. Yeah. Yeah, it's always better to ask on the channels too. Yeah, and uh, plus on the group channel, it's better also to tag us. Sometimes that helps us to not to just see your notifications right away. So just make sure to tag the tutors as well. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, great, great. Thank you. Okay. So next we have. I think okay, she's back. Um, sorry guys, uh, my network kicked me out. So I think next we had um Carmel, if I'm not wrong. Carmel, okay. can you speak? Yeah, okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can. Good morning. Good morning. Uh so day one was actually good for me. Uh, I was excited to start the project uh, and I submitted the task on time uh, so and I didn't face any blockers so it was overall uh, good for me. Okay amazing so you didn't uh, it wasn't hard for you to navigate to the training or like the submissions? Yeah, of course, it was not hard, uh, but I'm trying to divide the task uh, into a small uh, manageable uh, steps. So it's just been a little challenging, but overall it was good. Okay, that's great. That's really good. And always make sure to ask questions on the channels um, if you have any questions. Yeah, yeah. this is great. Amazing. Uh, so next we have uh, Mama. Is it Mohammed or is it Mama? Should we call you both? Um, yeah, you can speak up. You can call me Mama. My name is Mama. Uh, and day one was really well and it went pretty straightforward. Uh, I have to meet my task on time. It wasn't that much difficult. And I try to see today's task, and I have done some progress on that. So far, it's smooth, no blockers. Okay, amazing. It's really good. I see that everyone is doing good, actually, uh, considering it's day one. So that's really good. Amazing. So next we have Sharon. Sharon, can you speak up? I think Sharon um, joined us late uh, yesterday. I hope um, she had all uh, the details to like uh, on board. And yeah, maybe you can update us on how your experience what was. So yeah, you can speak up. 
Okay, I think she's typing. Uh, she didn't get a chance to attend A1. Yes. So, okay, yeah. So are you catching up? Uh, do you have any questions? Please make sure to reach out to me. Please make sure to go through the onboarding document and also make sure to go through the challenge document, especially uh, uh, on the um, deliverables section of the document. So, yeah. So you don't have any questions, Sharon? You can also type in your, your answers. You can open up your mic. Okay. Okay, maybe we may can reach out to her after. Um, next, we have Stacy. Stacy, can you speak up? If you're speaking, you're on mute. Okay, Stacy is also not able to speak. Um, so maybe yeah, you can write your updates um, on the in call message. Okay, next we have um, Shekoni. Shekoni, can you speak up? If you're speaking, you're on mute. Okay, yeah. I think you're on mute. Um, we can't hear you, Shaikoni. Uh, yesterday, I, I, was, I was able to speak to Dr. Apple. Um, can you? So, I'm, I'm really sorry. We, I think your voice is a bit far. Can you get closer to the mic? I was able to submit yesterday's assignments to GitHub repo. <laughs> Am I again? I completed the tax for yesterday. Right, you you completed the assignment? I'm really sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So there, you don't have any blockers? Any questions? I'm just looking at setting up uh, the dev environment, which I've not been able to do. Oh, so you have questions on setting up your environment, I think, if I'm not wrong. Is that it? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Um, maybe, uh, Ramat, anyone from the technical team? Um, uh, maybe you can address this question. I'm sorry. Uh, could can I get the question repeated? Um, Shaikon is saying he's having trouble on setting up his environment. I think, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, which uh, method were you applying? Are you, you trying to uh, download the with Anaconda or? Uh, yes, I would love to download that and look at the video again. So, sorry? I'd love to look at the video again. Video? Yes, the tutorial video from yesterday. Okay, so what is the error exactly? Maybe you can share us on the Slack so we can help out. Oh, okay. So make sure to screenshot the error that you get and share it on the Slack. All right. So we can provide you suggestion to fix it. Okay. 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 Great. You can also share it on the All Week Zero channel. Uh, yeah. You can address any technical challenge, any um, questions you have. So. Um, Next, we have actually okay. Maybe I can call names since we have still we can still take on one or two people. So, um, any volunteers first? Okay, if okay, Alazar, you can speak up. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Good morning. Okay, 
Uh, the three things I did yesterday was uh, set up uh, setting up my GitHub using the crisp team model in uh, debugging my task. Uh, when uh, setting up my GitHub, I didn't want to clone the exact copy of the Git repo that was posted because it had a lot of files. So I don't, I didn't want to overcomplicate things. So the thing I did was uh, take the basic basic folders and uh, added uh, some empty files in them. The second, did, uh, the second thing I did was in order to understand uh, the project more, uh, I used uh, the CRISP, uh, CRISP DM module uh, you explained uh, yesterday to map out the tasks. And once I uh, once I finished that, I tried to divide the task in comparison to the tutorial that is uh, that will be given throughout the week, in order so that I can try the task. And if I had any difficulties, I can ask later on, on the tutorial. And uh, the second thing, I submitted the task, the GitHub repo, and uh, overall, uh, no, blocker, no blocker so far. Okay, this is great. This is really good. Thank you for the detailed updates, um, Alaza. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you know who to reach out to. Um, I know I've saved this uh, multiple times, but yeah, I think it needs to be said. Uh, okay, this is great. So next we have Ari, Abel, and Nabiu. Ari, can you speak up? Okay, maybe we can uh, prioritize Nabiu since he has his hands up. Uh, Nabiu, you can speak up first. Okay, thank you. Um, I think I'm going to answer this three question, right? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, the one was good. Um, uh, from moreover, it, it was good for me, and I have submitted the task, which is the GitHub link. And uh, any blocker, uh, I, I, I didn't get any blocker till now, but I was looking for uh, how we are going to like prepare and uh, like understand, prepare and clean the data. I was looking for the uh, CRSM DEM uh, model, and it was just a, a little bit challenge for me since I haven't done anything before this. Um, this is all. Thank you. Okay. 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 Great. That's good. And then next we have Abel, and then Ari. Abel, can you speak up? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, okay. Uh, the first question is how was day one? Okay, day one was uh, pretty good, I would say. Uh, did you get to submit your task? Yep. Yeah, uh, I submit my tasks one time. Uh, problems. Yeah, uh, I encounter a blocker while working uh, in the EDA. Uh, yeah, before working to uh, like starting with the EDA, uh, I approach uh, data sets like uh, to merge the three data sets and do the analysis all together. Uh, but since the size of the data sets, uh, the columns and other things uh, are like uh, really hard to correlate or to merge them uh, like simply. Uh, I find that hard to merge them simply. So yeah, that's my blocker. Yeah, so it, like I can't start with my EDA because of that. Is my question clear? Yes, I, I think so. Yes, um, Ramat and Tinon, Alex, do you have an answer for this? Okay, so I will, with the error as a error happening or the thing that you're stuck on is on the merging like it's not an error basically but like uh, the data set columns uh, like that i was like trying to correlate one data set to the other for example like if you uh, remember the data set there is like a column called the source name the, the source name like, are you following me? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. and like on the other data set, there is like a source co uh, common name. 
So I was like trying to correlate them using like those elements. But like uh, there are like a lot of uh, uh, mismatches and also that the size uh, doesn't match. Uh, even if like we upsample the data set, like I have to confirm that uh, I'm actually like in a right track that I was going to use that approach. Uh, but I will like, I don't find it simple to measure. It's not an error at all. Okay. So is there anyone who who was uh, checking out the data that can share their experience with the data from the trainees? No one have seen the data? Uh, I think uh, there's a difference between the cleaned data and uh, the raw data in the ratings column. Uh, if you use, I, I think I, I used the clean version, and uh, so far I haven't encountered any issues. Okay. Uh, okay. So can you send me the clean data? I think it's like in the documentation. Clean data. Uh, on the document, yes, if you oh, see on the, the same line, it says uh, raw data link here. Yeah, you can you can download the clean global news data here, Ilan. Uh, sorry. Uh, so I use that uh, link, but uh, still like uh, the data set I found is still challenging. Yeah. Uh, what was the main issue in, uh, you encountered? OK, uh, so b basically, the problem is like uh, if you are like to answer the EDA questions after analyzing the data set, uh, you have to like uh, whether merge the data set uh, to to answer the questions, or you have to analyze them in the, analyze them independently without merging and like merge the insights or like the things that you get from uh, analyzing, uh, visualizing, and other things like uh, using uh, libraries. But I use the approach of merging the data. But in doing so, uh, I can correlate the data. So it's like uh, the columns. Uh, the... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you need to create a new column. And, uh, are you trying to merge the rating in the domain's location? Uh, the, the what and the what? Like, I, I, like, I, I don't hear. Which two data uh, frames are you trying to merge? The data frames, like the three, the three data sets. Uh, for example, uh, our, for example, uh, let me check which question exactly you're trying to ask me. Uh, on some section, uh, in order to get the domain's location, you need to uh, correlate ratings in domain's location. During that phase, uh, you can. Uh, extract the uh, domain from the URL column, and that's uh, my approach. Meaning creating a new feature so that you can have a column to connect those two data, say, uh, the, those two uh, data frames. Like, still, how are you going to merge the data set? I, I, I don't get it. Like, if you are like to add a column to, like the first, the, are you like adding a column to the first data sheet? Yes, for the ratings column, you can extract you can extract the domain from the uh, ratings column using uh, from the URL column inside the rating. Once you extract you, that, you, you are real column. You are real column. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. you are real column. You are real column. Okay, then. Then uh, on the URL column, it shows uh, which uh, website uh, it used uh, to, uh, for, for which uh, website that article belongs to. You'll uh, most probably, uh, the, the approach I used is that I created a function to extract yeah. the yeah. domain name. And once yeah. uh, I've extracted that domain name, I can use it as a key to connect by domains, domains location in the ratings using that column. If you can see, yeah. there's a domain column on the domains location. The domain column, the domain location? 
Yes. Then yeah, you create yeah. a new domain. You create a new domain on the ratings uh, data frame, and then once you do that, you can use that E uh, to connect those two data. Okay. okay. And that's the approach, the approach I used. Okay, so like uh, basically, I, I I think I understand your approach, uh, but my uh, yeah, it, it's it's a good approach. I have to say that, but like still the uh, the size of the data set doesn't match. Like the first, the first and the second data sets have like a different size. Still, like even if I was like going to merge the data set using the URL, uh, like. You are basically dissecting the data set and like parsing uh, uh, the domain name, right? Uh, well, that approach is uh, basically yeah, trying to merge them uh, exactly. Uh, if you can use, for example, in a screen terms, you can use that inner join to connect both. For example, if two ratings have the same domain, they can extract the same data meaning uh, from one element from the domain's location table basically you're going to perform an inner join or any join that uh, you prefer uh okay That's, uh, can you hear me um uh, everyone sorry yes uh thank you so uh what alzar was saying is very good um like uh, he was answering uh, like his answer is very good uh, I just wanted to comment on the last part, um, or let me just clarify for everyone else, uh, if uh, ever, and someone, people are still confused. So yeah, you have several data sets and they don't match in size because they are not the same. So one, the rating data is for news websites but the domain data or traffic data, they include other websites as well. So you will have like a very big difference in, in size, for example, um, and maybe I can share my screen as well that you can see this with me. Um, uh, one second. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. You can you can see my screen, right? Okay, great. So, do you see my? And can you like respond with um, like um, with a voice because I cannot cannot see. I cannot see your reactions. Yes, you can see see your... Notebook. Yes, yes. So uh, here you can see like uh, data sets. So this is a rating data set, and you can see it has like 58,000 uh, entries, 1,000 rows. And this is the one that has um, uh, like news websites, right? Uh, like articles, actually. And so these websites will be repeated, of course, like the URL uh, will be repeated because it will have different uh, multiple articles from the same URL. Uh, another um, data set we have is the domain, domain locations. This one have um, like um, the source name and which is like the domain and um, and its location. Uh, so this one has like um, seven, uh, 37 uh thousand entries so because like the domains will not be repeated in this in this data set uh well in the da traffic data has like hundred thousand entries because it includes uh, like a lot of websites basically so you don't need all of the, the data for all the websites here what you are concerned with is the uh, news websites right so when you merge this data set with the first one you have to do like a, a left merge or left join on the on the if you you understand this uh, from the SQL uh, terminology of if you you have done merging before, meaning that what you keep is you keep the domains um, from the left table, which here what I'm calling the left table is this rating one, and um, keeping from the traffic data, I'm only keeping the domains that are are in the first um, 
so it can be an inner inner merge or like a inner join or a left join on the on the news websites data set basically so i'm only including from this data set uh, sorry from this one the traffic one i'm only including the websites that i have on my um uh, in my news website data set okay so i hope this is clear uh what um another the other part of the question was how to merge them and what uh, as i was saying is a uh, like a very good approach basically what you need is uh, the other two data sets sorry i hope that i'm not confusing you when i'm going through this notebook so this is the domain locations uh, this has the domain, uh, common name is exactly the domain name. And in the traffic data, I have a domain name here as well. As well. So, so like uh, the domain, is this is a column I have, the domain name as well here. So you can see it here, like I'm showing part of the top, uh, table. So this is the domains, google.com, facebook.com, this is the domain, right? So basically, if you have the URL to google.com, it will be www.google.com. So basically, you can get the domain from the URL. So in the first data set, you can use the URL, apply a function basically to extract the domain from that one. And actually, like this function can look something like this. So for example, here I'm splitting the URL and removing like the www dot uh, from it and basically extracting the domain from that. So I don't know. I hope this was clarifying in a sense. Um, I don't know if it's like a, can I get some kind of reaction from uh, who the person who asked the question first? Abel was it? Can you like? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, um, I think this was a great question and a great answer as well. But I just wanted to like um, for other people. I hope that was helpful. Okay. Stop presenting. Thank you. Uh, in addition, uh, on the yeah. domain location data set. Uh, on the domains location data set, there is not a name that, that says exactly domains. Uh, it has another name, another uh, alias, I think. Uh, so, right. Um, I'm really sorry, guys, for interrupting you. Um, we, we've passed, uh, I mean, I think 15 minutes, and we're like 15 minutes uh, left for the next session. And I think it's better to raise these questions and initiate some discussions on the All Week Zero channel as well. So um, I want you to do me a favor, uh, Abil and Alazar, please make sure to forward the questions we just discussed here on the all week zero channel just now uh when we um finish this uh this stand up so so that everyone can also learn and everyone can also contribute to the question as well so this is great i really like like the discussions we had here um this is really good and let's keep it like this for the coming stand-ups as well so yeah this is good and we really do need to uh, wrap up this session so please make sure to forward your questions on the channel uh, is it is it good for you is it fine by you can you maybe show me a reaction would that be okay 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 that's great so yeah I will in another make sure to forward your questions right now like now <laughs> yeah Okay, great. Thank you so much, Ramit, um, Intinan, Malit, for um, helping out, and also for everyone else for joining. And please make sure to join tomorrow as well. And yeah, thank you so much. And any announcements we have, we have the usual tutorials. We have two technical tutorials and one careers tutorial. And we also have the daily submissions. Uh, we have both careers and technical submissions today. So yeah. 
we will be sharing the careers contents uh, just uh, maybe in an hour. And yeah, make sure to go through the documents and make sure to be present on the other sessions as well. And thank you guys. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thank you.